Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be taking you with me as I shop some antique malls here in Holmes County, Ohio. I want to show you guys a few spaces that I want to shop for today. One of them is the entryway. Um, it's kind of hard for me for some reason to decorate the space. Um, it's just a narrow wall as you can see. Right now there's just a shelf there and then a few nails to hang my purse. And I'm thinking, I wonder how a small cabinet, like an antique cabinet or something would look against this wall here. Uh, maybe just providing some space, you know, to store some things in. And then the living room here, as you can see, is still in the winter mode, which here in Ohio, it's that way on the outside. Of course, we have so I have lots of snow and it's been cold, although today isn't as cold as the past weeks have been. So I'm looking for something for the mantle. I'm thinking maybe one of those old-fashioned iron gates. Um, I'm sure you guys, guys have seen them. Um, I thought about doing maybe a gardening theme for the spring here for the mantle. And I thought one of those gates would look really pretty uh, sitting in on the center and then fix it up with some you know, plants and pots. But we'll see. The other thing I want to look for is teacups. I'm always on the lookout for them. Uh, last year I had gotten Amy, um, the lady that pours my candles for me, to pour some wax into cute little teacups and they were such a hit on my Etsy shop. I only had a dozen, I wished I would have had more, uh, but I'm really going to be on the lookout today for yeah, cute teacups, see what I can find. But otherwise I'm not really looking for anything in particular unless something you know catches my eye. So my first stop of the day is the Walnut Creek Antique Mall. You guys have heard me talk about it before. I have a booth in there. So let's go in and see what they have. This mall always has some things on the outside here under their porch and I thought what if I'd find that garden gate out here somewhere that would be awesome. I always like a ladder for a plant stand. Let's see what the price is, 16. It's actually not too bad. I think I may end up getting this. I think that's a really good price and it's a nice sturdy ladder. There's a couple of reasons I enjoy browsing antique malls. One of them being I'm a very nostalgic person. So walking these aisles really triggers memories. And I know a lot of people say with age, you know, you get more that way. But honestly, I've always kind of been that way. Um, I always kind of cling to memories. And if I could go back in time, that's something I would love to do. Um, it's just so much fun walking through here. I see things that we used to have, you know, growing up or something you know grandma or grandpa used to have 
And I feel like these items all have stories of their own, if that were possible. It's just interesting to me to think, you know, where did this come from? And the other reason I enjoy this is, of course, just looking for things to decorate with. Um, it's amazing what you can find in antique malls. Um, it's one of a kind items that you won't be able to find anywhere else, even if you pay a little more. Um, it's just often worth it to me. Not that I just go invest in a lot of antiques. I don't spend money on antiques really hardly at all, but if I you know, pick up small pieces to add here and there in our home, I just love to do that. And here's my booth, and I'm always saddened when I walk in here. I seriously don't have time, guys, to fix this up like I'd want to. Um, it seems every time I put decorations in here, um, they are soon you know, gone. It's something people can easy just grab and go versus a piece of furniture. Um, I really just started this booth to kind of get rid of my furniture, and so far I've done really well with it, but it just kind of looks blah to me. I wish I had more time. I would definitely come and pretty things up in here, but for now this will have to do. And right now I have a 20% off going on in this booth. I want to get rid of some of these pieces because I have some spring pieces that I want to add. So I didn't find a gate in this antique mall, but I'm kind of eyeing this, I think it would be a headboard uh, in front of me. I'll try to zoom in on it. Um, I almost feel like I could cut off the legs and almost display it as a gate of sorts. If I don't find anything in the other antique malls, I'm going to keep this in mind. I can always come back. So we're having some miserable weather out here. Um, it's raining presently, uh, 36 degrees, and then there's this dirty snow, you know, melting snow, and it just doesn't look very nice out here. But that is typical here in Ohio, so I'm not too surprised. Uh, we've actually been lucky this year to not have had too much of that, so can't complain. I am now on my way to the Berlin. I think I'm gonna go to the Trading Post Antique Mall next. We'll see what they have.
I'm seeing a lot of pretty teacups, but often you have to buy the whole set, and I of course don't have use for all of the dishes. I always like to check out their furniture room. They have a separate room in the back um, with just furniture pieces. I did kind of check out this, I thought, would it make a good entryway piece, but it's not quite the right color and I don't really want to paint it. I thought I want to put something there that is a stained wood. The price isn't bad. The nice thing about living in an area with a lot of antique malls locally, I can always store this in my mind and if I decide I want it later, I can always come back and check to see if it's still here. For some reason, these little seasoning or spice containers caught my eye. I'm kind of on the lookout for something like this to try to be more organized in my spice cabinet, but I don't really like that they don't have a shaker option. I keep seeing these metal pieces. I wonder what they were used for. Um, it seems almost like a part of an oven or a stove, like a burner part, uh, just by the way they look, but not quite sure. I don't know, have I ever told you guys that I plan to build a dream dollhouse one day? Definitely on my bucket list. This is so cute. I didn't really find anything that I'm going to buy today here at the Trading Post Antique Mall, but make sure if you're ever in the area to check out all of these malls. I mean, they're all good. So now I'm on my way to meet a guy for lunch. And there he is. We met at Ginger House right here in town, one of our favorite coffee shops. And they just recently gave this place a facelift. Um, it's so pretty. This mall always has a lot of furniture and I thought for sure I would find something in here for my entryway.
I debated this washstand. It's pretty, but maybe not quite what I was looking for. I could use this flat basket as a replacement for my gate. I have seen these already on mantel shelves and they look pretty good, but I'd rather have a gate, but I'll keep it in mind. I love these soup plates. I have thought of replacing my Melmac soup plates with glass ones eventually, but I really don't want to pay $7.50 for one. But they are pretty though. Alright guys, so I'm just a little bit disappointed. I have not found any gate or a piece of furniture. I did find some teacups. I have one more antique mall to visit, just a little bit out of town, still considered to be in Berlin, and just hoping I can find that gate or maybe a little piece of furniture. If not, I may head out to the first antique mall in Walnut Creek and check out that headboard that was sitting on the outside. So let's go see what they've got. I love, love this bed frame and the price is so faded. It is either, I see a 65 on the tag, but it almost looks like there's a one in front of it. And I don't really wanna pay 165. Even 65 is a little steep, I think, although it does look like an actual antique. That's probably why it is more expensive. I did not have any luck finding my gate in here, so I ended up going to the Walnut Creek Antique Mall again and snagging that headboard. As you can see, I didn't buy a lot of things, although I would have wanted to. I saw so many pretty items, but today I was just kind of looking for these certain things, and I did splurge a little on this ladder. This wasn't necessarily something I was looking for, but I thought for $16, this would make a really nice plant stand. Um, it's a beautiful color. Uh, it does need to be cleaned up a bit, but it's nice and sturdy. One of my favorite colors is this color green here of this bucket. It just caught my eye. I knew I needed to have it. And then I have a box full of cups here that I wanna unwrap and show you guys. And then I have this headboard here. 
I wonder what you guys think. Uh, am I crazy? Should I just wait for the perfect iron gate or should I just try to make my own? Uh, you guys know me. I really like the challenge of trying to make my own things. So I have a few ideas in mind of what I may do with this. That will probably be in a video coming up. Four of the cups have this design. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm planning on pouring some wax in those cups and probably selling them on my Etsy shop. So if you're at all interested in them, uh, keep an eye on my shop. I will probably go until maybe mid-April or something like that by the time I have them ready. But um, I always like to see a candle in a teacup. And then after your wax is gone, you have the cup to enjoy. I found two of these, uh, just the cutest little birds on there. I have a couple of these blue and white ones. I really wish I would have found some more of this design. I thought it's just so pretty and spring-like. Thanks so much for watching. I had a lot of fun antique mall shopping. It was fun taking you guys along. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.